Oh yeah, <clears throat> black sun in the hizzle, all oh, for shizzle dizzle. We got an excellent show here today, but first I want to say the views and opinions and that of the arena does not reflect that of Comcast, is staff, or the affiliates. And the views of Black Sun does not reflect that of the arena. The arena is a council. That means I'm a co-host. Yang is a co-host. Gideon is a co-host. Don is a co-host. And then we have guests. Let me say it again. I'm a co-host. Yang is a co-host. Don is a co-host. Gideon is a co-host. Let that sink in, people. All right. I didn't tell y'all to switch yet. You need to get off that marijuana. <laughs> to my right. <laughs> to my right. Introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Felicia Christian. I am the mother of Alexia Christian. All right. My name is Lucius Christian. I'm the grandfather to Alexia's Alexia Christian. I am Gidon, your servant and brethren. Oh, I thought you were going to say more. Um, my name is Dawn. I'm a local activist and dedicated troublemaker. It's me, Yanger. You know, every week, glad to be here. Um, this show, really, more than probably any show because of the issue and how serious the issue is. Let me say before we go any further though, um, definitely a big shout out to Peaches and Women on the Rise for helping to organize this and bringing the Christians on to share um, with us and, 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 and to thank them for coming on being so bold and so brave to come on and to relive this because it has to be hard That's to right. constantly relive this over and over again but to share with us in the, in the telling of this tragedy. So, you know, like I said, but other than that, man, I'm Yanga. You know how I get out. You know, in the light, I mean, we have, I mean, it seems like we cannot get a break from the police brutality. Mm -hmm. We were just talking about Sandra Bland. Yes. In Texas. Mm -hmm. And Sam now DeBose. we, huh? And Sam DeBose. Sam DeBose, Freddie Gray. Man. Eric Gardner. Eric Gardner. Bill. Freddie. Oscar Mayor Grant, Grant Mayor Rice. Sean Rice. Bill. Yes. Right. I mean, and then they just shot somebody again in uh, Ferguson. Yeah. Uh, yes. They are now, as we speak, they're rioting in Ferguson. Yes. Yeah. As we speak. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, and we've had some shootouts here in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. Some killings. Um, I mean, the list is so long. And this, and, and this being one of them, and one of the most bizarre. Right you know, killings that I've ever heard. And, 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 you know, not to rush you, son, really, because I really want them to okay. get in the story. When we hear how bizarre it is and how strange it is and the apparent, the blatant mm -hmm. cover-up right. by the officials, man, it's just going to blow your mind. It is okay. going to absolutely blow your mind. Yeah. So. Well, let's get started. Um, you know, I listened to WRG. I was listening to Don's show. And, um, and I feel kind of upset because we had one of the Atlanta Citizens Review Board on the show. Mm -hmm. And he said, mm -hmm. you know, we just need people to come down there. You yeah. know, we're willing to help the black community. We got this big old spiel. Mm -hmm. You know who you are. You know who you are. Let's say his name. Lee, Dr. Lee, Lee. we're going to get him back on the show. We're going to get him back on the show. This is very important because I'm sitting up here defending people like Mr. Lee. Yeah. Against my, yeah. you know, uh, for my people. And I try to, you know, mm -hmm. get him, you know, I, I, you know, you, 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 you always say, you know, it, let's let's get to it. Yeah, I'm, yeah. yeah. Um, would you like to start off and just yeah? Tell us a little bit about you. Give us a little history of the case and a little bit about what's going on, and then we can go more to um, Alexia, right? Am I saying it correctly? Yes, Alexia. Alexia. Um, well, first of all, I'm, I'm appreciate appreciative of you all for letting me and my dad, you know, come here to speak about this. The mainstream media has made my daughter's name like mud. Mm -hmm. They've dragged her, mm -hmm. they've made her look like the worst person in the world, mm -hmm. you know? And mm -hmm. the, the public can only go by what they've been fed. Mm -hmm. Right. So, so far, uh, the authorities have given, you know, negative reports on my daughter, on her, her past record, um, they've plastered mug shots, mm -hmm. like, you know, just completely de mm -hmm. dehumanized her, mm -hmm. all right? And I'm here, my dad is here, we're here to, you know, bring to the public's a attention of who she really was. You know, she was a mother of two, she was uh, my daughter, she has two sisters and a brother, mm -hmm. you know, under, you know, mm -hmm. through me. Right. And um, we're all missing her, 
Yeah. You know, my, my sister and her, they were best friends. Mm -hmm. You know, her cousins, everybody is still puzzled right now because we can't, for the life of us, figure out how it is that she was in the back of a police car mm -hmm. and in handcuffs mm -hmm. and ended up dead. Mm. Right, and okay. also, mm. like your case, like many other cases, my first question is, where's the videotape? Right. Well, that's, that's what we want to know. Right. Um, so far, the Atlanta Police Department has not contacted myself, my daughter's dad, Irvin Garnett. They have not contacted my dad. They have not contacted anyone in the family to let us know anything. How I even found out that my daughter was deceased right. was I called. Mm -hmm. right. police mm -hmm. department mm -hmm. when they broadcast everything and they showed them snatching a body out of the car they didn't ever release a name because family hadn't been notified right. mm -hmm. well I called just to see you know because someone told me that it looked like it could have been my daughter right. so after I given them a description of her and named off her tattoos and you know that's when I so out. they didn't even contact you? No, no one contacted how, me. I how did she I end up in the back of a police car, handcuffed? What, what's the story that's leading up Well, that? what has been said is that she had stolen a car. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is what they what's say. their report. That's their report. Right. You know, it's, it hasn't been proven mm -hmm. that there was a stolen car. Um, once they, they got the report or whatnot, she had parked the car that mm -hmm. she was driving in a parking garage downtown on prior hmm. and it was directly in front of a police station hmm. now no one i know that has stolen a car <laughs> right park parks car in front of a police across station across the street from a right. police station right. on right. the first right. level mm -hmm. at that mm -hmm. okay so no time to try to hide or duck and right. duck. it was right there in plain view mm -hmm. and um it was said that once they they found they located the car and once they located they stood back and waited for her to get to the car. Mm -hmm. So once she got mm -hmm. to the car, they drew down on they you know pulled up on her and drew down on her. Mm -hmm. And from my understanding, from speaking with a parking attendant, she threw up her hands like, "What I do?" Mm -hmm. You know. Mm -hmm. Now, if if you stole a car, you don't have to ask that question. What right. you done? You right. already know. Right. Okay, well I'm caught. Mm -hmm. You see, but see, she had no idea what was going on. Mm -hmm. You know. So once they asked, once she threw her hands up and they snatched her out of the car, they immediately put her in handcuffs. Mm -hmm. Okay, they put her in handcuffs and walked her straight to the police car. Hmm. Now, mind you, this is like feet away from a police precinct, mm -hmm. all right? Now, it's been said that they didn't search her right. properly. Mm -hmm. You know, they were waiting on a female officer. Now, like I said, there was a precinct directly across the street. They right. had time enough to radio mm -hmm. a female mm -hmm. officer mm -hmm. to meet them at the patrol car mm -hmm. if they didn't want to take her to the precinct, mm -hmm. you see? Mm -hmm. But they didn't do that. And too many times we have seen people sitting on curbs Absolutely. with their hands behind their back, exactly. waiting to be searched. Mm -hmm. right. You see what I'm saying? But they immediately put my daughter in the back seat of a car. Now, I don't count out anything. Mm -hmm. I don't know what could have happened. I don't want to assume or speculate. Mm -hmm. Everything could be answered if they were to release the video. video. Mm -hmm. So now exactly. that's my issue. Mm -hmm. My issue is, if indeed my daughter was guilty of something, prove it. Right, mm -hmm. that's right. Prove mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. And being that it's going on four months now, mm. how is it that mm. I still don't know why my daughter is dead? Mm -hmm. Why they is say it? they're investigating your mind. <laughs> they're investigating the tapes. Yeah. For four, four months. months. For four months. Four months. That's a long time. You know? Mm. What are you investigating? Mm -hmm. Are you trying to cover up something right you know right. are you trying to alter some videos right. are you trying to delete edit cut splice That's some right. tapes mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you see mm -hmm. there's dash cam video mm -hmm. there's some audio somewhere mm -hmm. there's surveillance cameras all over downtown Atlanta. Yes. You know they're going to yes. have downtown yeah, security. Mm -hmm. Even in the parking lot. Absolutely. You know? They have the uh, video from there. Mm -hmm. The um, the video from over the police precinct. That's right. The dash cam, the uh, dash cam. board cam. Mm -hmm. They have several videos that are around the different businesses there. They have collected each one. Wow. How and many? they're holding all the videos mm. Uh, mm. doing an investigation. What are they investigating? Right. Now, if they 
search my granddaughter. How can you find drugs? They said they found drugs on her. How can you search her and find drugs? But no you weapon. can't find a 380 automatic weapon. Okay. Mm. Talk to me. Yeah. She only has on. Um, right, that's what I was going to ask you next time. Those what she tight wore. pants yeah. and a uh, uh, t shirt mm -hmm. and, and panties. That's it. Come mm -hmm. on. And now, where did she hide a gun? Mm -hmm. I don't believe that. Mm -hmm. Even on Channel 2 News, when I first heard about it, the uh, newscaster said, listen to this. She was in the back seat of a police car, handcuffed, which she got out of the handcuffs and shot at some police, and they shot her. Well, they shot her 10 times. Wow. Mm. Right. That's an overkill. Mm -hmm. The young man that shot the police officer, the state trooper, they shot him in the shoulder. He went to the hospital. They healed him up. He's okay now. Right. But they shot him in the shoulder, and he shot a police officer. Right. They say my granddaughter, handcuffed, shot at a police officer mm -hmm. and got 10 bullets in return. And then we also have the gentleman that has murdered nine innocent victims That's right. inside That's the church. About that. That's right. And he was oh. escorted mm -hmm. out of the church. That's right. In a bulletproof vest. Come and on, they say they stopped at a burger joint. Exactly, yeah. burger. absolutely. Well, I, I, for the life of me, I can't understand it. Several times, I've asked my dad, you know, to try to explain that to me. Mm -hmm. how There's no is explanation. It, no. How Are they finding they slugs or anything? Bullets. Have they found anything that from the alleged weapon that she had? Maybe we a, a have not heard mm -hmm. anything. We have not seen the police car. Mm -hmm. We have not seen the vehicle that was in question for her being, you know, this she supposedly stole. Mm -hmm. We have not seen anything. They have not given us anything, nothing, not even a, a common courtesy call. We're so sorry for your loss. Mm. We have not received anything. So the district attorney had, and nobody no one, has no called. One, no, one, no one, no one. Miss Christian, quick question. I thought I recalled hearing uh, some time back that Senator Vincent Ford had actually put in a demand for the release of the surveillance tapes and such. Whatever happened with that, and did Senator Ford ever follow up? Well, to be honest with you, I'm, I'm thinking he was, he was told to be quiet mm -hmm. because wow. he was at the ACRB, the uh, Atlanta City Citizens City, Review Board. Yes, Citizens mm -hmm. Review, Citizen Review Board. Board. He was there, and he was speaking on behalf of my daughter. Mm -hmm. You know, he made a demand that all of the videos were released, and mm -hmm. They were very rude. They mm. were so rude at this meeting that I actually had to leave. But I haven't even heard from Senator Vincent. Mm. You know, my dad has mm. been trying to contact him. He I've called him. Calls. He called me back once. Mm. Oh. And he said, if I can help you in any way, let me know. Mm -hmm. I've let him know. I've been down to Mayor Kasim Reed's office mm -hmm. because my granddaughter didn't have any insurance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you don't look for a 26-year-old. Right. You know. And we had trouble burying her because we didn't have the funds to do so. Right. I approached the uh, city of Atlanta, uh, the mayor's office. I asked them for assistance in burying. The only assistance that I received was uh, from Watkins Funeral Home mm -hmm. and from Mark, yeah. Southview Cemetery, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which I had... Um, I had to give them a certain amount of money up front, mm -hmm. and they would let me and uh, her father, Earl Garnett, uh, pay so much per month mm -hmm. until the balances are paid off, mm -hmm. and I appreciate mm -hmm. that. But at the same time, I was told that, um, that they were going to assist me with the burial. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I found that out to be a lie. Well, one of the things that we know she left behind, um, two sons. Right. So let's, let's go into a segue here because, like you said, you're still paying off debts. Is there somewhere that people who want to assist mm -hmm. and can send money into aid in, in this can send money? Off? Like, yes, a PayPal you give, yeah, like a PayPal or GoFundMe, yeah. anything. Mm -hmm. Is there anywhere that we can send money and, and tell our viewers? And I mean, listen, this is... You know, this is our daughter. This is our sister, man. We have to get behind this, and we have to support. Mm -hmm. So 
Um, if we can give us that, man, and we get out here to our viewers and get some of the people to assist, please give us that, that information. There is um, an organization that has been assisting my, myself and my family. That's Women on the Rise. Women on the Rise. Miss Wynn, mm -hmm. Peaches, Miss yes. Women on the Rise have actually extended so much help to us mm -hmm. that, you know, because we were at a place where we didn't know what to do. Mm -hmm. So they have helped us and they have set up a fund mm -hmm. as well as we have a, a family fund. Mm -hmm. um, it's on GoFundMe. Mm -hmm. Dot org, and if you just look up under Alexia Christian, mm -hmm. you know, there's the information there. But um, a little later, Miss Peaches, she'll be coming out and she can okay. share more okay. with now, that. Have you all tried WAOK and Derek Bozeman? That's a black radio station here in Atlanta that they've black been familiar with them. They have been helping with a lot of cases, uh, most recently, Friendship Church and, and the elders there. But this is a case that begs for some type of attention and the ability for the community to come together. Not only is this show uh, part of that, which you're here today, but I would encourage you to contact WAOK, Derek Bozeman, right. Gene right. Ross, mm -hmm. and these people so we can continue to promote this information and get it out to the community. Okay, well I can say this. We, um, to be quite honest with you, we have not, dealt with anyone mm -hmm. um, besides WRFG yes, right. mm -hmm. radio mm -hmm. and the here arena. at the arena uncensored. Mm -hmm. We have shunned, shunned away from the CBS's which yeah. is mm -hmm. WAOK. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 We shunned away from them because the first time I ever spoke out they took my words and twisted mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. and, and they used it still in a reflection of negativity towards my daughter, mm -hmm. you see. Mm -hmm. So I haven't wanted to say anything to them, okay. you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, I, I, like I said before, I didn't know what measures to take, what to do, what actions to take, mm -hmm. you know, as far as trying to enforce some justice, right. you know. So I appreciate you giving us this lead. Certainly. You know, that's, that's another avenue that we have Absolutely. because, you know, this is not something that we're used to. Yeah. You know, this, right. this, this is you bizarre bet. and strange and it's, it's very I'm sure. unreal. I'm sure. Yeah. Now, has the officers been put on any type of administrative leave or any, has oh, anything they haven't happened? haven't been... Uh, reprimanded any kind of way. wow i mean it was like okay good deal go out there and do it again wow you know, that's that's the way no one has said anything it's just like they gave a ticket to somebody mm -hmm. exactly right. now i heard that these were uh willy haired melanated folks that did meaning black killing. folk uh yeah. one guy was a seasoned officer of 10 years 18. and 18 years mm. and the other one was a rookie ten but these were black folks 10 months yes mm. both of them were uh were black i mean what are you so how many wait let me Go ask ahead. a question Go how ahead. many so they're saying how many videos all together uh, allegedly were that they are they supposed to be investigating i would say anywhere from from four to seven mm. four to seven not knowing exactly how many i know at least four Mm. Because there's one in the uh, parking deck, there's one in the police car, there's right. one in the police precinct, and then there's a street cam also. Mm. Now, there are some businesses in the area Including that had... Underground. Oh, yeah, underground. All oh, right. Um, and there are some businesses in the area that has cameras that, uh, that picked up mm. Quiznos. Um, mm. They've collected all... And several video. businesses mm. had... And they got all of them. Now. Channel 2, actually, on the day that this happened, there was a, a helicopter view. Mm. You know, there was a helicopter view directly down on it. You know, they had made the statement that they tried to revive mm. my daughter. They didn't try to revive her. Channel right. 2 assisted me in knowing that mm. because you don't revive someone and have a sheet covering them from head to toe. Oh, exactly. Right. Okay? Yeah, you exactly. would have a blood pressure cup. Mm. You would have... Uh, suction, you know, yeah. oxygen mask, right. you would have something that shows that you're trying to revive them. They had my daughter covered from head to toe. Mm. But how can you revive uh, a small torso 120 that pounds. has mm. 10 bullets in it? Mm. What are you pumping? You can't pump air into that. No, 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 no. You know? exactly. no. And right. the way they drug her out of the car by her feet and her head hit Come the ground. On. Oh my you goodness. Know, 
they um, they treated her like a dog out there. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Well, he wouldn't have treated her. No dog one like that. had said anything about that, and this was on national TV. Mm-hmm. They showed it. And were there any? Uh, I guess bystanders or civilians that maybe I'm sure that were had like maybe videotapes or anybody can come. I guess we right. need people to come forward because we're right. turning we in. Looked Excellent. We tried to find some people in the area that uh, that uh, saw something, but the ones that we found, they were very closed mouthed about it. I'm, absolutely, Re- police there repression was, is something there serious. Was, yeah. You know, it was said that there were people that were trying to go and make statements mm-hmm. that very same day, and they were turned away. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, it was also said that once there was gunfire, that the police officers stopped pedestrian traffic from moving and went back right. to the car and shot. Mm-hmm. You see, these are all things that I have been told. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So to stop speculation. Why not release, release the, the tapes? Let me say that, that this is where an opportunity too for the masses, the power of the people to exercise their power. If Senator Ford is in your district, if you're a registered voter, whatever, demand yeah. that Senator Ford step in, demand that Chief Turner um, conduct a, a transparent, thorough investigation and release the tapes. Right. These are people that this is there again where we talk about the power of uh, the masses and we talk about the power of the people and especially political power. These are positions that are held politically. When you right. start to threaten their paychecks and we start to threaten the very food mm-hmm. uh, that they put on their table, then they start to get right. So you, the, the viewers out here listening to this, demand, you demand, and I hope I'm not stepping on women on the rise toes, but you demand right. that Chief Turner Chief Turner, yeah. conduct a transparent and thorough investigation in that Senator Jeff Ford stick to his words and, and, and help this family. If not, then, you know, tell them find another job. I'm sure they're hiring at Kroger's. And also, if anybody actually seen this transpire and you see anything else transpire, send the video to the, to the YouTube. We'll make sure we get it out there. If, you, right. if you're scared, you police oppression, scared to come forward, mm. send it to YouTube. And we'll make sure we put the out the glass. The arena will make sure. Yeah, we'll make sure we put it on glass. So if anybody sees this case or any other case, right. we'll make sure we get it out there. With, so what do you? What did you see? What did? What do you understand that happened? I mean, as this story unfolded, I mean, we we know there was a shooting. What were the series of events that took place? From what you were told. From what happened. I was told, I was told that she had gotten arrested because of this so called stolen car. They put her in the car. They said that uh, what they said was that once they start asking her her name, she began to fire. I, I, I just mm. cannot stomach that. So that she I know my like daughter. Houdini. First of all, my daughter's son, her, her youngest son, his birthday is May the 1st. Mm. So this happened the day before her son turned two years old. Mm. This would not have been something that my daughter would have been doing, you know, mm. just giving up. Because see, somebody to shoot at the police, they just giving up. Mm. Right. She wasn't trying to give up. Right. You see what I'm saying? And she's not a stranger to doing time. Mm. If she had indeed committed a crime, she would have been willing to do the time. Right. I'd be trying to find out what visitation days was. Right. I'd be trying to put money on her mm-hmm. book. I wouldn't have just had to plan a funeral and bury mm. my child. So she's now, talking about point blank range now. You're saying the police is here asking her question. Yes. And now they're saying that she started firing. Supposedly they were sitting inside of the car. She was sitting behind them. They said they turned to ask her her name and she began to fire. They don't sound right. Uh, it, okay. That, so wait, her hands are behind her back. Mm-hmm. But they say she got out. They she say got she out got of the out. Handcuffs. They say she got out of the handcuffs. Now, anyone who has ever been arrested before, there's two ways that handcuffs can be placed on you. You can be put in handcuffs, or you can be have you could have handcuffs on you. Right. Okay. To be placed in handcuffs, they have been locked securely around your wrist and locked with the key. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. That way, if you move, it'll they get tied tight. up. It won't exactly. come off. Absolutely. But if they were just put on you then they just hanging on you like this piece of jewelry that mm-hmm. I have on. Right. Okay, you can slide out of them, especially if you have a thin wrist like mine, exactly. you see? So, now my thing is this right here. J- just being a realist, if my daughter did indeed have a gun on her, because they didn't search her properly, first thing in her mind was, man, I'm finna go to jail. I don't wanna get Give caught with this me. gun on me. Let right. me get it off mm-hmm. of me. Exactly. So she tried to stuff it down the seat. Right. I see the gun going off. Right. You understand? Right. They hear the gun going off. But because you don't see a bullet or, 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 or hear the, a projectile coming your way, right. 
you had time enough to both bail out of the car. Absolutely. Okay, if you had time enough to bail out of the car, you had time enough to assess the, 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 the scenery to see what exactly was going on. Right. To take cover. Right. You know, to demand her to put the weapon down. Right. You see, but that's that's not what happened. Exactly. In the little short time that all of this transpired, my daughter, th there was a gunshot, supposedly. So they say. So they say. Mm. Now, she was shot ten times. Mm. I need to know where those ten bullets come from. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay? Because, see, in, in the, in the, by, in the uh, what is it, the, uh, autopsy. the autopsy. autopsy report? It was one bullet from one gun, which they didn't specify the caliber, mm -hmm. and nine, and nine from, another. from another one. Mm. So I that see. one could have been, could have been one her she shot shooting herself. herself if she, in fact, shot herself. Mm. Mm. Trying but to I don't see the why gun. they couldn't find a gun. They found a little piece of dope, but they couldn't find a gun. Right. That's I so can't understand that. Well, mm -hmm. Now, see, Wait if had they she... didn't find a gun? No, 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 no. They found a gun. When okay. they searched but her. But when they searched her, they, they didn't. didn't find a gun. Right. Okay. But they found drugs on mm -hmm. her. Mm -hmm. Okay. How are you going to find a little piece of uh, drug or whatever right. it was and don't find uh, uh, automatic 380? Mm. That's right. that's I can't understand you that know, one. Because they won't release the video, I'm led to to believe that the gun could have been planted on my daughter. Right. All exactly. kinds right. of ideas. Absolutely. Right. Of me. They could have very well taken that gun and shot it until it could look like there was a bullet that came from of another course. direction. Mm. You see what I'm Catherine saying? Catherine Johnston. Yes. Now, that's see, exactly what now, they did to her. Back to the scenario of what I was saying. If indeed she was stuffing that gun and that gun went off, right. that's one bullet that's inside of her. One of the officers, well, both the officers jumped out of the car. Right. I'm thinking the seasoned officer. I don't think a rookie would just automatically just unload a gun nine times. Exactly. Okay. But whichever officer it was, because it only came from one direction mm. nine times. Mm. You see what I'm saying? That's an overkill. That's a mm. malicious murder by a peace officer. Mm. Absolutely. Okay. Because there's nothing. You you didn't shoot to injure, to 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 refrain her from from your life being in danger. Right. You didn't sh you didn't shoot her to where she would have to heal up and still do the time for this crime she just did right. and add some more time to it. Exactly. You maliciously murdered her. Absolutely. You know, you put ten bullets into a female. Mm. Do you understand? I, I got a question. Now, um, I guess you had to get a lawyer because I was going to see because, you know, did they get all the angles CSI the forensics. Mm -hmm. right. well, uh, we don't know anything the because, because they, they can do that. Because when they shot right. Fred Hampton, they had got every mm -hmm. single angle. And they mm -hmm. shot this man 160. Mm -hmm. Wasn't that wasn't mm -hmm. that uh, the, the community that actually did the extensive investigation to refute what the FBI had said regarding Fred Hampton? Yeah. So, okay. So my, my my question to them is, why are they saying they're not releasing the they tapes and not an still an investigation? Why aren't they giving you information like? for powder burns on uh, right. her hand, or they're not even telling you which officer fired the shots? We have absolutely Nothing. no And they just, man, my condolences. The only my, information oh, I God. have is that my 26-year-old daughter is dead. Mm. And you know what? Because of the mainstream media, mm -hmm. because of how they have portrayed my daughter, there is nobody saying anything about it. There right. is no one right. speaking up for her. Right. There is no one that's, that's one of, that's having these questions in their mind like me. Mm -hmm. There's people saying things like, man, she's a dumb bee. Mm -hmm. She got what she deserved. Mm -hmm. Really? Mm -hmm. This is what really? the, understand that. This is Christian. what the uh, the media portrayed to the people. Mm -hmm. Right. That this was the kind of person exactly. that's supposed to be dead. Exactly. And when we exactly. set up the GoFundMe page mm -hmm. to try and bury her and have some money for her son, whatever, everyone looked at it as though I'm not going to help her. Right. I'm not going to help them because right. it's her fault because the police said that she shot at them. Exactly. She didn't shoot at them. Okay. I know oh, she didn't right shoot right at on. them. Okay, right. well, Mr. Christian, Mr. Christian, um, you know, back to the videos, the, the surveillance that you asked for, and back to uh, your working with Senator Ford. Um, this is unfortunately not the first time here in Atlanta you know, at least in the Atlanta area, that this has happened. Right. Um, some people might recall 
uh, the murder of Ariston Waiters yes. in Union City. Absolutely. And uh, Mrs. Waiters is still trying to figure out what is happening to her son. Right. I know in the mainstream media that a lot of people, and a lot of people are drawn to the Sandra Blands, mm -hmm. to the Mike Browns, the commemoration of Mike Brown is happening this week and stuff like that. But it seems that here in Atlanta, we have a hard time trying to find out what has happened in an officer interaction with our citizens. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And there seems to be a lack of transparency exactly. and a lack of and a lack of feeling like, you know, our elected and selected officials work for us. Exactly. You know, I I would hope that Senator Ford who has, you know, participated in a lot of the mainstream actions here would remember his promise to you, would remember that he is supposed to be advocating for the people, right. your daughter being one of the people, her sons being some of the people, you who are some of the people that he represents. Right. How should we, how would you wish for us, you know, because I mean, even though Alexia, you know, she, she could have been my friend, right. you know. Mm -hmm. I've heard you say the most amazing things about your daughter. You know, she's not just a name on a t-shirt or a hashtag. She was an amazing young she, lady. She was a human being. Right. And I feel badly that I, that I didn't get to meet her. Mm -hmm. um, I am glad to have met you. How do you think we should approach this? Because for me, I feel very strongly that we need to get on Senator Ford. That we need so to I. be like, hey, you know, Alexia Christian matters. Right. Mm -hmm. Even when the press are gone. Right. Mm -hmm. right. So what are we going to do? What would you recommend? I don't exactly know how to answer that question because, you know, again, I've never had to deal with this type of thing. Of course. Mm -hmm. um, this, what I'm doing now, you know, speaking here and, and, and speaking on your radio show, mm -hmm. these are steps that I have been, you know, directed and guided in. Mm -hmm. You know, I trust that God will take care of all of this mm -hmm. and he will put the right people in my life mm -hmm. that, that will show me what to do, that will show us mm -hmm. which way to go. Mm -hmm. You know, what I do want and what, do I, what I expect is a full, thorough, transparent yes. investigation. Yes. That's yeah. not that's not hard. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's not anything that's not fair to ask for. I'm a mother of mm -hmm. a child that has been murdered. Right. So it should be no problem in someone assisting me in finding out the details of her death. You see, and someone in in Senator Ford's position, mm -hmm. because he has the voice that can make the demands. Yes. You know, I would expect for him to stand up for us, a, a person that don't have the voice. You see, that's what we put him in office for. Yes. You see, these, this is why people get elected. Exactly. So that they can go and the they people. can stand in positions for us where we, the people, can't. Mm -hmm. right. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Where I can't speak, he can. Yes. Exactly. So if you already took initiative to start speaking, what took that away? Mm -hmm. Why would you stop? Right. It had it been the table's turn, and this was Unless a family member. Unless you were told member. to stop. This Absolutely. was a family right. member of right. yours. Mm -hmm. Could someone tell you not to speak for your family member? Right on. You well, see? I want, I want to, um, and you made a very interesting point about Senator Ford and, <coughs> you know, how I think the solution should be we should, um, this goes back to the video being in our hands. Mm -hmm. Not no Senator Fords, no polices, mm -hmm. no internal investigations. Mm -hmm. We need to take it back to the old school, Yanga. Yes, sir. Where we take it on our own hands. And I don't yes, see sir. anything wrong with us <coughs> taking the videos in. Mm -hmm. Not to the CBSs, mm -hmm. not to the ABCs, NBCs, the Foxes. Mm -hmm. This is where it starts here, the arena, mm -hmm. WRG, and just And the people. people. Uh, the people. Cop watch. Exactly. You know, Cop so watch. We, yeah, we need to take this We have to hands. galvanize, working in conjunction with Women on the Rise, we have to galvanize and mobilize the masses of people. All power lies in the hands of the people. That's right. And, and understanding one of the things that they love to do in situations like this are make them isolated incidents. Right. Right. And it has, they all have to be tied into a war right. being perpetrated against Africans here in America. Right. And that once 
it's understood that this is a war perpetrated against us, Africans right. here in America, then we start to feel that pain. Right. We can't, us, the masses of people right here, and especially in Atlanta, Georgia, can't allow this to go unaddressed right. and unanswered. There again, I make a passionate appeal, a passionate plea to our registered voters, mm -hmm. Even the brothers and sisters that are not registered voters working in conjunction there again with Women on the Rise to when rallies, when uh, we do call for a rally, to participate and attend the rallies, to put that pressure. If Senator Ford is in your district or he's our senator, right. that we, you yes. know, call him. Mm -hmm. Let's get the number out. Let's call him and say, hey, man, what are you doing? Everybody, yeah. yes. get the number out there. We're going to find this number. Like we're going to end up putting the number out there and say, hey, we're going to call him and say, hey, man, what are you doing about elections, Christian? Mm -hmm. Point well, sound, It sounds like to me he's part of the cover up. Well, if you know, he's not making no efforts to get the video, then you're part of the cover-up, period. 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 If you're not it's winning. simple. Bring the goddamn so, yeah, video. Absolutely. Bring the video. But Bring one the of the things is, right. if there isn't pressure, Playing games, if man. there isn't pressure right. put on him, like I said, once you definitely, it's like when I, I'm a spades player, and what we say, I play this for bread and meat. If I don't win, I don't eat. Right. When you threaten that livelihood, and I say threaten the livelihood, because you know how they like to do it. Oh, he's threatening now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. When you, no, I'm saying, when you're threatening their livelihood, the arena. The arena. Does not reflect that of views of, of Comcast, of Comcast well, like, well, or the arena. If you're covering up the video, you're part of the cover up. Yeah, Here. absolutely. But I, I want to say this. That, that, and I'll say, and, and, and I agree with you, but I want to say this that we, the people, have to, we have to stop being apathetic. We have to stop being so removed from this problem. We have to stop looking at everything like a movie, a right. television program, and being desensitized. Right. Yeah. One of the things like this, uh, Mother Christian was saying, uh, uh, Mrs. Christian was saying that they dehumanize and criminalize a character. This is they always do before they assassinate you. Uh -huh. And yeah, they put you in this, yeah, part of the cover up, and put you in this light, and you become apathetic. You become removed from it. It's no longer touching. It's no longer stirring. Mm -hmm. To sit here and watch your mother. Well, let me like, correct that again. Only the people who believe them. People not believe in the media. Well, the nobody, media. nobody. Except for but they have to be. But you know what ends up happening, though, son. And and I want to get back to um, Mr. Christian, and Mrs. Christian. But what ends up happening is we become desensitized. This is happening so much now right. that you know too tomorrow, often. Be, too right. often. Tomorrow to be someone else, yes. and and we just move in. We click a YouTube hit and like and we click these shares and, right. and and we become desensitized to it and we lose the human aspect of it to sit here and I'm telling people who are watching the show to sit here with the mother because like right. Mr. Christian said who thinks about that you're going to have to bury I'm a father right I did idealistically my children should bury me exactly who right. would think Right. That you would have to attend a funeral burying a child. And I'm a father, and it's right. hurting me to talk about someone else's child. I can't and imagine. This is my granddaughter. Exactly. Right. Your granddaughter. You have to bury your granddaughter. And the mother whom this child came from, your, your body, to have to bury this child right. is very, very emotional and very touching. So I say again, not to be long-winded, that us, as a compassionate people, right. humanity, white, black, whatever, you demand, demand that these tapes be released demand that an investigation, a transparent investigation, right, right, be right. open and not allow them to cover this on the rug and let time go by so that we forget about it. Right. And me personally saying this, I won't forget about it. Now let me just say this, because when we look at this particular case, Alexia, her death is not going to be in vain. Absolutely. The way they have dehumanized her and vilified her character is not what they are doing to Alexia, it's what they're doing to our race. Yes. See, exactly. this is a microcosm of what they're setting us up for. In the worldview, they are creating an image that we as a people don't are count. criminals. We don't count. Mm -hmm. That's why the whole mm -hmm. movement, Our Lives Matter, came to, into to being. Black mm -hmm. Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter. Uh, our Lives, Black Lives specifically. Uh, right okay. So in reality, what we have to see is that this is a representation of all of us mm -hmm. and that Alexia that she is a heroine in the sense that she represents a, all of us and our people are being put under a microscope right now. Wait, Kitty, you know what this reminds me of? And I know you're not going to agree, but remember the guy that got, they found down in South Georgia, all his organs are gone? Yeah, yeah. that's Kendrick Johnson. Kendrick Johnson. 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 Yeah, in Valdosta. But then now, how did they get a hold of those videotapes? Did well, the they had altered down? the videotapes once they right. got a yes. hold of yeah. them, but it took them a while to do that. Uh -huh. And they only released them after they had altered them. And they're yeah. still right, so investigating like the same case. That case. Right. That, that, that's what I 
am fearing. I am fearing it's going on four months now. Right, you right. See, it's giving them time enough to alter the video. Right. It's giving them time enough to lose evidence. Exactly. It's right. giving them time enough to repair stuff. Exactly. To put, you know, Patch, put, yeah. they, they could put holes exactly. in a car and say it exactly. came Absolutely. from a bullet this year. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's, it's just too much going on. You know, I give it to them. Sandra Bland was received all of her videos. Her, right. her, they mm. was able to see a video, hear her voice and everything right. and on the dash cam. Right. You see, when the officer was had pulled her over, they heard right. her. You could hear it. No the video in, no in, video in the jail, in the jail. Well, where no, she no, supposedly no, no, was hung. Let me put it, let me bring a point up um, to, to, to encourage you and to encourage the people who are listening. One of the reasons why Sandra Bland's video was released, one of the video. reason why uh, Sam DeVos's video was released was because there were pe there was people mm -hmm. pressure mm -hmm. that there yes. were people pushing and That's saying hey Yanga just was um, saying, yep. uh, Sandra Sandra Bland was a Black Lives Matter activist mm -hmm. okay. and so immediately everybody's spidey sense started tingling mm -hmm. with Sam DeVos they watched the video and actually in Cincinnati where Sam DeVos had been murdered, there had been a, a, a an up uprising, what some would call a riot, almost a decade before. Mm -hmm. So they released the video immediately mm -hmm. and so. indicted the officer immediately. Right. Right. So we need to apply people pressure. Absolutely. We need to set their feet to the fire. Right. This is not, they're not going to do the right thing they're without not. us. Not. We have to do it. Well, if, with that being said, I plead with the people. Mm -hmm. right. You know, I plead with the people to step up you know, right. if you have in your mind a doubt that my daughter is innocent or if you think that she is guilty, I plead with the people to demand. That's demand right. some answers mm -hmm. because this could very well have been your daughter. Right. Come on. It, it is their sister. daughter. Yeah. You're, you're, it, she mm -hmm. could have been a relative of yours. Exactly. She was my daughter was very well known right. and she was well mm -hmm. loved. Right. You mm -hmm. see what I'm saying? So I know that there's a lot of people with different opinions. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody gonna have their opinion. Right. Absolutely. That's not a problem. Right. But get your opinion Proof proven. Mm -hmm. right. See what I'm saying? If you think for sure that she was guilty and she got what she deserved, ask for, ask for some de right. demand right some proof. Right you on. see what I'm saying? So that you can sit back and say, oh, she got what she yes. deserved. Uh -huh. I'm, right. I'm begging for proof. Right. I'm begging Sister. for proof because I need to know. I need to know exactly what happened to my baby. Now, the two grand, my two great grandsons, right. one is two mm. and the other one is three. Mm. Uh, without getting any closure on this, mm. the older they get, all they they'll know is police killed my mother. Right. Yes. Which right. would make them have feelings harsh toward the police. Absolutely. Mm. Which would give them. Uh, early grave right. or jail time mm -hmm. right. because retaliation is sure to come. Yeah, absolutely. If someone just killed my mother and, right. and what, you just killed her like that? Mm -hmm. That's right. And if they ever pull up the video and, you know, uh, the, the three-year-old now can get my cell phone and pull up any game he want to play. Exactly. So exactly. he's going to be able to take a, a computer and pull up the video of his mother being drugged out of the police car. Mm -hmm. Now he's going to have very hard feelings about that because I, myself, my daughter, and, and everybody else to see it right. is saying, well, why did they lie about having her, uh, trying to resuscitate her when they killed her and drug her out like a piece of, uh, 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 like a dog on mm. the street? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know? You Come can't on. say one thing on. and then the camera is showing something else. Yes, sir. This is one reason I'm saying we definitely need these videos right. because right. it will say a whole lot of things right. that the news media said that is contrary. Well, see, that's why I would never, I never vote for these killers. Mm -hmm. I never see, well, that's why when we look at this corrupt political system, it shows you that they're corrupt, mm -hmm. they're vile, mm -hmm. because we should not have to ask them for these videos. That should be a part of the function. It should have already been released. Absolutely. And we exactly. want to beg the people 
Cause I know somebody took some video. Yeah, we yeah, got yeah, we right, got yeah, video. Right. Everybody has a phone. Some it's some video somewhere. Mm-hmm. We need to have those people come forward mm-hmm. because that's this right. corrupt system is not going to mm-hmm. give us due process. They're not going to do the right thing. We we saying right. it. And and when I was there at the case with Catherine Johnston, where the police officers not only shot and killed her, planted drugs on her mm. and a gun, mm. that lets me know that they will do it. They have done it. Yeah. They continue to do these things. And and it, without these videos, they'll continue to sweep it under the rug. And our people will continue to support these killers yeah. and this corrupt system. No, they're Ms. not going to sweep it under the rug. We're not going to allow that um, to happen. I'm, I'm wondering, there's, there, you know, let's say... You know, we can say that we can claim it, that we're going to get these videos right. because of the power of the people. But if there's something on the videos that we will not see that I wish you would share for us. Could you please tell us who Alexia was? My daughter was a very vibrant, loving, you know, free spirit. You know, she was very talented. She could sing, she could dance, she could rap, you know. She had a very loving heart, you know. She she would have a, a shell like she was hard. Mm. But if you got a chance to know her, you would see she was a very sweet person. You know, she would do anything she could for you. She's helped people who were on the verge of being homeless. She's helped people that, that had their utilities and stuff cut off. You know, and she didn't have her own, for the sake, because mm. she, she was a free spirit, mm. you know. But if she was down for you, she was down for you. Mm-hmm. You see, she loved her family. You know, her boys were her world. Mm-hmm. She loved those little boys, you know. And I, I'm so honored that she did have them, you know, so that I could still have a little piece of her, That's right. you know. But, um, it, you know, just to, just to say this about the, the videos, you know, I have a fear. You know, I have a fear mm. that this time they're taking right. is, is, is because they're trying to cover it up exactly. and sweep it under the rug and hope everybody forget about it. Exactly. You know, mm-hmm. but exactly. if indeed and when we get this video, I would request that someone has, you know, a heart to authenticate it. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I, I, I need right. to know that this is the real deal. Right. Absolutely. You know what right. I mean? And, and you know, because I haven't had any idea of how to pursue getting this done, mm-hmm. I hope that the people, you know, like you said, the power of the mm-hmm. people mm-hmm. would encourage, you know, this these answers to come out. We just, we're looking for closure. Mm-hmm. You know, of course we're looking for justice, but we definitely need closure. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. And if we can't get it done... If we can't get it done here, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about going all the way to uh, Department of Justice. Right. Right. You know, we have a new, um, what's the sister's name? Lynch. 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 Loretta, you know, Lynch. Loretta Lynch. Lynch. You know, we, we're, we're calling in. I'm saying pull out all the stops. Yes. Pull out all the stops. I know that uh, I'll be working in conjunction with Women on the Rise. I'm sure that, you know, the masses of the people will be working in conjunction with that. But whatever we can do, whatever has to be done. It needs to be done. This is such a necessity. I can't stress enough. I can't put enough emphasis on the how serious this is. And I don't know. It can't. You know. It can't. Unfortunately for me, it can't be conveyed through the camera. But I'm 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 encouraging you to go to the Facebook. Mm -hmm. I saw you. Facebook, go to the Facebook, go to GoFundMe. We have two toddlers, a one-year-old, what, two-year-old and a three, one-year-old and a three-year-old? Two-year-old and three-year-old. Two-year-old and a three-year-old that we're looking at for um, financial support, moral support, spiritual support, any support, physical, to attend the rallies. Call Vincent Ford. I saw that we had, we got the number up there. Call Vincent right. Ford. Mm. Do what we have to do to demand complete and total transparency in this investigation and do not allow this to lie. My only thing I'm sad about is it took us this long to get you on the show. Exactly. Yes. You know what I'm saying? But this isn't the last time you've been on the show. In fact, I, I, I suggest that we do updates. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? We yeah. come on and we start doing yeah. updates to find out the progress right. of the investigation. Right. But we're not, man, we're like pit bulls with this thing. We've sunk our teeth into it, right. and we're not going to let go. That's right. Definitely. Now, another thing is that uh, during this process, I had, uh, I had uh, gotten an attorney, the chestnut firm, mm-hmm. which say their hands are tied. What? Mm. They can do but so much. 
Huh. Mm. And uh, I've been working with the Chestnut Fern from the first day that I went over to Watkins Funeral Home. They met me over there. Mm -hmm. And they said that they were going to do this, that, and the other, but they haven't been able to do anything. Uh, they have mm. their investigator who is, um, who is supposed to be getting the, the tapes, the video. Okay. Mm -hmm. He said that he has tried he, all of his efforts mm. and all of everything mm -hmm. that he could to get those uh, videos. Mm -hmm. So if there's anybody out there that can assist us in, in doing this, the Chestnut Firm, who is saying that they've done everything they could do. Um, Y'all didn't give them no money yet, did you? <laughs> I mean, I'm no, not trying to be no, good. Um, yes. Oh, well, that's a good question to yeah. ask. Well, so we could, because they should not exploit you right. exactly. for, because of your loss. Yeah. You know, they're not producing results. And I would say that I would encourage for there to be attorneys who, you know, can donate their time right. and can donate their resources mm -hmm. to finding the answers mm -hmm. that we as a community need. Yes. You know, say, so, you know, we we are with you. We we also but want closure sounds like, and we also want justice. It sounds like this has got to go beyond state, though, because if you got a cover-up and the state is behind it, exactly. you got to go over the heads. Yeah, you exactly. Know? Yeah. But, and, and that's why I'm going to curious the viewers, we got the... Whip them phones out. Like right. Copwatch said, whip the phones out and yeah. send it to the arena. Don't send it to CBS. Mm -hmm. Don't send it to WAOK. Mm -hmm. Don't send it to none of the major. We are the people's media right here. Yes. Mm -hmm. Send it to either us, send it to Democracy Now, WRG, and we got the Real News Network. Those are the only four Black Sun deals with anybody else. They're, they're tied in. Mm -hmm. They're tied in. The media. And the police are like this. They the are. state they is are. like this. They're they all are. in they bed are. together. Let me, we're coming on our last 10 minutes. So let's, you know, is there anything that you want? Because we'd get so emotional getting that time to flew like I, this. I'd like things. for um, for the representative. Okay, for women, women on rise. Yes. To come so in. Oh, okay. Yes. Yes. You okay. Know, she, she, like I said, this organization has done a great help for mm -hmm. myself and my family. And I would like for Ms. Peaches, Peaches to, to come, come on. Out. Okay. Mm -hmm. Somebody Peaches. call Peaches. Okay. Come on. Come on out, Peaches. I like to thank uh I like to thank my church family. Yes, sir. Which is uh the true church of the living faith where my brother, Bishop Samuel Christian, is the pastor. Yes. And What's the address wife, to that? Doctor Ruby Christian. The address is seven oh one Hamilton E. Holmes Drive. Say it one more time. Seven oh one Hamilton E. Holmes Drive. Okay. Northwest Atlanta, 30318, the true church of the living faith. And I'd like to thank them and all of you all that are listening now for your prayers and your support. And anything that you all can do, help us out with this. That's right. I know that prayer changes things. Yes, it does. Mm -hmm. And we're praying, and when we pray in unity, a lot of things happen. That's right. So we know we're going to get to the bottom of it. It's just a matter of when. Right That's on. Right. right on. All right, Peaches, I know mean, you uh, wanted to. Um, well, thank you for having me out. Basically, what I wanted to state is that Women on the Rise is a community-based organization that is made up of previous women that have been incarcerated. And our involvement in the case is based on the fact that no one should be treated in such a fashion regardless of what type of crime they might have committed. Um, we are looking forward to them releasing the videotapes. Mm -hmm. uh, we are also looking forward to releasing the information in reference to the actual officers, their records. Mm -hmm. Because again, like uh, the family was stating that none of the pertinent information has been released. We filed reports with the uh, Community board, Review Board, right. we've not gotten a response back from that. So basically, we intend on taking it as far as it needs to go. Mm -hmm. um, but of course, we do have to follow a chain of command. But what we're asking is for people to get involved. 
a lot of times numbers will bring about a change. Right. I'm sad to say that it took another sister like Sandra Bland to mm. actually awaken the energy within the people to want them to come out into the street and look for justice. Mm -hmm. But then we have to also look for justice for all our unsung heroes that we don't hear about. Mm -hmm. Because this is happening all across America on a day-to-day -day basis. Absolutely. And there are children, our sons, our daughters, our mothers, so, you know, even though it's not happening in your household, you have to take the initiative like it is at home. Because what affects one of us will affect us all. PJ, I got a question. Now, what, can the Citizen Review Board, do they have the power to demand the tapes? Well, the Citizen Review Board was put together based on the factor that when you had an issue with the police or right. any of those entities that you would be able to file a complaint and it would be investigated. So, yes, they do have the hands-on link to be able to go to the powers that be and address the situation. They have not done anything. No, mm -hmm. what, what I'm asking, do they have the power to request They have that subpoena right power. Yes. That's what you're they asking. Do they do. Yes. Remember, we had the uh, head of I the know. Citizens yeah. Review Board on, on the, the arena. Show. They do have That's why I was power. so amazed right. when um, I sat in the Women on the Rise meeting and they were talking about how, uh, and I got to call your name, man, because you sat right on the show and was like kicking it with us like, you know, you was for the people. And so I was amazed to hear his treatment. And, and Women on the Rise, if you remember, we had him on the show, Miss Wynn, right. with the 9 to 5, doing the 9 to 5 That's thing. Right. And, and they also shout have another, Ms. shout out, right. definitely big shout out to Miss Wynn, um, have another program that they're doing that we're gonna have uh, her and Sister Peaches on the show again. Okay, come in. So this is, a, you're really hooked up with a good organization. We have a history with Women on the Rise and they're really doing some some good and positive things. Yeah. Uh, so they're definitely hooked up with a, with, a, with a good organization. Again, do they, does Women on the Rise have a number, some contact information? Yes, actually I provided it to the brother right. and he's putting it on the screen. Mm -hmm. um, you can locate us there. Again, like we said, we are also putting out calls if anybody has seen anything, if you videotaped anything. Right. That's right. If you have any skills, um, anything that you can bring to assist this family in finding closure, also, anything that you can bring to the table to uh, discontinue this type of behavior because it truly is unacceptable. Uh, me personally, it's a form of white supremacy. Exactly. And if we are not going to exactly. wake up and realize that we are being attacked, we are at war, it's not coming, it ain't going to get here, it's here now and mm -hmm. live, exactly. then we're going to continue to have these issues and it's going to affect each one of our households. So I suggest that we all stand up now. So call the senators, come out and support. If you hear about it, come out and rally. My plea to everybody is that when you see the police out there Whip dealing out the with anyone, Whip them yes, out. take out your phone, videotape it. Yep. It could be your brother, your That's sister. Right. You right. don't know anymore. I mean, you know, they're pulling people over for things that are misdemeanors and you're losing right. your life. Right. Tell me you're not in a police state. Tell me that they're not out to kill you. Right. Okay? I mean, this is the truth. And I want to <laughs> give um, big shout out to allowing the family to come onto this show and voice it because we'll again you a up. lot of oppositions uh, people get caught up in egos right. and because mm -hmm. of egos they refuse to allow the truth to get put mm -hmm. out there so that the masses will know and we can prepare and put things in place so again I want to thank every one of y'all Citizens Review hasn't said anything to you all no they haven't no, the been meeting that we attended was a very ugly meeting really? they were arguing among themselves, mm. and it, it seemed like there was no organization there. Mm. And they didn't even uh, show any remorse Thanks. for anything that had happened to my, my uh, granddaughter. And my other wow. two granddaughters were there, and it was like a slap in the face mm. to the whole family. They had board members on the, on the panel that didn't even know what was going on. Wow. You see? They, they, it was different issues, not just this one, mm -hmm. um, that were brought up, and Bundle, they, yeah. they didn't even know what had happened. Out of touch. You see? No, one I'm had just come back from vacation, and no one had even brought her to... Uh, had briefed her on Had it. briefed her on anything that had happened, and she was sitting there on the panel asking, well, what are you all talking about? Wow. Mm -hmm. you know, so mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's just something that was set up as a front, I believe. Mm, but right, it's not right, anything right. mm. that will get anything done for anybody. Mm. I, it's yet to be seen. Well, it's clear that, you know, and I want to say that the people who talk bad about your daughter, they're, they're, 
you know, the media has what they call media trolls, mm-hmm. okay? And they pay people to have a certain view. So exactly. this is the people's media right here. Right. And like I said, the four organizations that I mentioned, Democracy Now!, WRG, The Arena, and The Real News Network, we're the real deal. Mm-hmm. Right. So, you know, you don't have to worry about them slamming. That's, that's, like I said, media trolls. Mm-hmm. You know, they, they, they pay them people professionally to do that. So mm-hmm. those aren't the people that's saying bad things about your daughter. Mm-hmm. Those are all people that are in cahoots. So with that being said, are we wrapping up? Okay, next week, who we going to have on? We're going to have Miss Wynn and Peaches on? You're coming on next week? Oh, 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 studio, oh, studio, oh, studio, 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 studio. Not, not studio. next week. The not, studio, that's right, that's the right. We're going to have, okay, we're going to. We're gonna. Um, we get. We want to throw Miss Wyndham on the spot. We better get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're yeah. Gonna, yeah, yeah. We're gonna have them back on in yeah, the future. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Though. Okay, so we're gonna have them lined up, and we're gonna also gonna um, next week. We're gonna be okay. So right. next week, uh, we not gonna be here. Right, and we won't be. Next week, watch good. this show again. How about yeah, 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 exactly? Next week, put this show on again and watch this show. And we need. And we're out.